<laughs> oh, dude, speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of the joke I wasn't going to make, uh, <laughs> there's these pills that, uh, dude, I was watching, fuck was I watching? I was watching some sport with Phil. I think it was just golf. Mm-hmm. And they, no, it couldn't have been golf because there were AIDS pills commercials. Anyway, there was HIV pills commercials, and I was yeah. like, Dad, you're going to need some of those. <laughs> and he was like, what's that? What's that? And he started watching the commercial, and he was like, what? what? <laughs> I was like, because you have gay AIDS. <laughs> he was like, he got so upset. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> just be like, Dad, you're going to need some of this. I forget the name of the pill. <laughs> it's just two gay dudes like sitting on a dock being like, we have it. We're good. You know, it's great. Don't it's think it was great. Go- Why wouldn't that be golf? Our golf- golfers golf, would be no way gay. they'd be advertising. You think golf strictly Phil, Phil's hetero? still anti-Tiger Woods, dude. He's still that holding beef. it down for yeah. him flandering? Yeah, and I was like, dude, Tiger's the man. Tiger is the man. He was saying he was a cheater. And then he was like, I heard he fucked this this other golfer, Duffner's wife. That's when it's fucked up. And I was like, uh, this seems like a Duffner problem. <laughs> Bringing your wife to a hotel with other golfers, and she ends up banging Tiger Woods. Is that a Gillis issue? Is it Duffner That's problem? That's a Duffner problem. <laughs> For sure. And then I looked into Duffner's, also, you should have been Duffner's, better wife, Duffner's wife also banged a couple other players. Yeah. So that's not a Tiger thing. He yeah. was just bringing a whore in. Yeah, he married a whore. He had a whore wife. And you weren't, good, you weren't good enough at golf to Duffner was keep nasty. whore powers in check. Duffner, and then I looked up Duffner, and he was a little chubby guy. Really? Real sad thing. To have you, dude, imagine if... Cucked nationally? Cucked by Tiger Woods, and you got you played against him, and he just fucked you up every week in golf. And, 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 your and, and he banged your wife. Are golf wives typically sluts? Yes. Okay. That's they funny. must be, dude. They're yeah. only marrying white dorks. True. That are millionaires. True. They have to be sluts. Yeah, and they're never golfers. Typically, we got actually some heat for making fun of golfers. But <laughs> yeah, golfers get so <laughs> dude, they have that Phil gene. I think golfers have gay AIDS. And they're all like, "What? <laughs> Golf's think a hell of a sport." It. It's the perfect sport for you to get cheated on. You're gone reliably. Like nobody golfs yeah. and comes right back. You're gone eight yeah. hours a day. The, the fucking walls yeah. are down, dude. And Tiger's in if, the hotel. Tiger Woods is in the hotel. Exactly. Known billionaire. Yeah. True. The thing you're doing every weekend, Jacked. they just watch it on TV. It's Greatest cool. of all time at the thing your husband does. Yeah. Comes through the hotel, signs an autograph. It's a, it's a wrap. Oh. Just, to, just to get you back for being gone every Saturday. You should be home with the kids. You work Monday through Friday, then you leave all day Saturday. Unacceptable. I'm going to blow one of your coworkers. Just hit balls in the backyard, dude. <laughs> True. You don't got to go do it. Duffman. Just hit them. Shout out Duffman. That might be my new favorite. Yeah, little chubby guy, just getting caught. I think he sucks now. I think after since the cut, dude, I wouldn't be able to play. Cra- I would, yeah, you'd have to quit, or you have to, you have to kill your wife, or no, because he wouldn't get alimony. Yeah, because because I was say if, he, if they got divorced and he had to pay her, he they was, did get divorced. Did he? But yeah, I but he, he's right. He doesn't have to like pay her alimony, does he? I think you can get cheated uh, on and still have to pay alimony. Probably if you're Duffner, if you got that much money, so he might just. Be you guys looking at Duffner's hot wife? No, we're looking at Duffner. Duffner's the man. <laughs> Yo, check, pull up his bay. How many do you think Tiger Woods? I've heard Duffner's Bay is hot. Yeah. It's very hot. Yeah. And she's in there just fucking dudes in the hotel. <laughs> that rules. It's actually cool. Tiger, you, Tiger continues to dominate. Is he still good? And then I think he endorses Trump. <laughs> He's so funny. Does he? I believe. Huh. I think Trump's A lot of great athletes have endorsed the dog. He's all about winning, dude. He's all about winning, and they're also retarded winners. <laughs> yeah. All these extremely great athletes are also retarded winners. So, like, Tom Brady, Conor McGregor, yeah. Masvidal, Tiger. That's a sick squad. Pretty good, man. A lot of, yeah. a lot of internet. Uh, <laughs> dude, there's definitely a little – the breeze is blowing, man, because there's – a lot of the internet personalities, a couple of them that I follow, are starting to like double down real hard on uh, on like the right. Basically. Jimmy Gaffigan came out hard on what did Gaffigan Trump Gaffigan say? He unleashed fury on Trump, man. Did he? Yeah. What did he say? And people were like, "Fuck Gaffigan!" It's like, no, Gaffigan's the man. What do you say Let about the boy? Roll, dude. What do you say about the Trump man? He was just, you know, he just had a spaz. He's like, "Trump's a fucking con man. Fuck this. This guy mm-hmm. sucks." Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. His I mean, seemed legit. I don't know why. Well, I guess because he never said it ever. Mm-hmm. Until now. But tr- Gaffigan's <clears throat> seemed, I don't know, usually I'm very critical if I think somebody's being phony or like virtue signaling. So his seemed legit. I guess you'd have to see it. Yeah. Did, yeah. He, did he do the hot pocket voice at all? <laughs> I, know, I was thinking that too. Where it's like, it's such a hard thing to be like, we need to come together as a country. And so I'm like, hey, I like that guy. <laughs> That's my president. Yeah, I saw him. Have you, you ever seen your dad run? 
Yeah. I saw my I saw you? Oh yeah, my dad was fast. Uh, when I, I was little, my dad was faster than all of us. Damn. Really? Yeah. yeah, I saw he was a soccer coach too, so he was Well nah, he played football when he was little. Yeah. So he was quick. One time dad got like hammered and tried to play backyard football with everybody. <laughs> I saw him. Uh, I played. Fuck. I played. Yeah, with I, was him, I remember being fun. little and being yeah. sad watching that, like seeing really? your dad hit the ground. We rolled back. We rolled like, back oh. home, and they were all drunk, hammered, and they were like, yeah. "Come on, let's play. Let's play. Yeah. Let's see what you're made of." And we were all like 18. We we're like, "Dude, we're gonna rock you." Yeah, dude. They did. That was wild. Who else played? What other adults played? Me, Steve. Oh, I think Jack played. He got Michael yeah. Jack got into the Mike's Hard Lemonades there for a while. Oh yeah, they were soft. <laughs> he started getting. He started getting soft, dude. I he like would go. It. He would just like he had a Winnebago and just park in the driveway, and he would go in there and just crush fucking Mike's hearts and listen to Jimi Hendrix. That's it's, awesome. It was, yeah. it was pretty tight. That's yeah, weird. Seeing adults dad, drunk when you're younger, I always aunt, found it uncomfortable. My aunt raced my dad at an Easter. She was talking shit. She was like, "I can beat you." This Easter? A, right? No, it was like, Jesus, Jesus, Louise, probably like 15 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, who probably won? last time I saw him. My dad smoked. Crushed her. Yeah. She fell like right obviously, away. Obviously, dude. But it was just it was great to see it. Lady brain gets yeah. just girls have like she's like I'm faster than you. I was like, no, you're not. That's <laughs> you're what my not. my old girlfriend. Her mom's like, I could beat you in an arm wrestle. You just couldn't. What? No, what? She, she just like, wants to touch you, bro. Dude, immediate pin. Yeah, she just. Exactly, <laughs> bro. She was probably like. <sighs> so you just pin. How her did it? you feel when Man, you pinned we her? We were arm wrestling. That's she wanted to feel domed. I think I could beat you right now, but I won't do that on camera. What arm wrestle? Yeah, you probably could kill you. You probably That's what's cool about wrestling. Unhinged. When Russell Crowe goes off, dude, it's the reality of when a dude would throw a woman around. Holy you know how, like, when you watch out. all these superhero shows and yeah, girls, yeah. like, kicking ass? Yeah. R- Russell Crowe just walks through this He chain. beats ass. Oh, my God. He throws her around a room. Yeah, it's wild. Dude, you could definitely beat, you could beat the shit out of a girl. Yeah. So easily. Yeah. Like, dude, if Nancy Pelosi oh, had been yeah. in the Capitol <laughs> and all those there guys. She's bald. <clears throat> what? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't oh, matter. Makes how old is she? She's like 95. Yeah, she's yeah. older. older they're all like it, 70, it, 80. Dude, if yeah. Nancy Pelosi was in... <laughs> Seriously. They're old as it is really funny how old they all are. It's crazy. If she was in the Capitol and those guys stormed it, they could have literally thrown her up to the ceiling. They, they, <laughs> they could have just pushed her over. Launched her body. Yeah. So fucking far. Mm. That's like, my dad will fucking forget you now. Like, Jesus Christ, How bad dude. do you think dad, if he wanted to, how bad do you think he'd beat up mom? Like, how quick do you think he'd beat up I think he'd punish her. <laughs> like, you think it's like three seconds? Just like a, like a standard just I think, hard? I think oh, the rage cry after that yeah. would be Give me a scenario, though. What caused the altercation? All right, so they're in the office. You know, they're doing paperwork. My mom's like, yeah, I think we should. We really got it. And he's like, Mayor, I am I, I know how to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she's Meanwhile, like, I'm look- sick of this, and slams the paper, scatters everything, and then he stands up. He's like, this is fucking it. Dude. This is it. I've been waiting. This is it. Yeah, she, like, throws a stapler, and it hits his elbow. So she does. She draws first blood. Yeah, yeah. And he stands up, and he's like, I got to contain Who this. Who was I just talking about this? We're we fucking, were talking about that. We were talking about geezer this. finally beating his wife. Yes, dude. Just yes. being 70 years old and just being like, fuck it. <laughs> this is it. They def- Dude, that definitely happens. They can yeah. take punches. Or, like, your nursing home girlfriend. Who can? Geese? Geese women? What? All those orderlies fucked them I mean, up. they took them. They grew up on them. <laughs> I, think I, feel, I feel like I talk about this every time I'm on this podcast, but like, I always think be? about it. Just like fucking smacking the shit out of old people. Like, it's elder abuse. Yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Like in the eye. It's wild, dude. Yeah, it's, it's elder crazy. abuse, dude. You no know fucking bad they piss you And off? they eat that shit. They say yeah, a lot of fucked up shit. That. When my mom, of- when my mom was in a home, dude. Oh yeah, we would walk in to see her. They would look at us. Yeah. All of the black ladies would look at us and yep. be like, "That's your grandma." All the Lizzos. Oh my <laughs> god, yeah, dude. <laughs> they were fuming. Yeah, man. Yeah, my my pop pop used to sound off pretty hard. Yeah. I don't fucking trust that guy. Get him out of here. And you'd be like, Yeah, it was before all the stuff. So you'd just be like, <laughs> Yeah, it was before all the stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> <was> crazy. Sorry, <laughs> <those guys. laughs> yeah, no, they go they go hard in the paint. Oh, yeah, That's. Dude. That's like part of the uh, attraction of a nursing home. Yeah. Just like just say whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> yeah, once you're old, dude. Just... Nurses are cool. They don't care. They let you say it. It's fucking laugh. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the, we had one guy in uh in our high school. He was like, yo, he's cool, dude. He lets us say the M word around. He doesn't even care. <laughs> there, there was dudes. There was a dude. There, they would come in and be like, "Yo, he doesn't even care, dude." You could like, you can like. Those literally that they're like cleaning up shit for like a year from yeah. one of these dudes, and yeah. they snap. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And film it. It's just Always. crazy that they're filming it. Film it. Who's filming it? The old. I don't know. No. Oh, sometimes the yeah. families do it. They have body cams. Yeah. No, sometimes the families like, like see grandpa cam. all lumped up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see some scratches. It's like a yellow eye. Grandpa. It's like ground and pound. They're it's wild. They're beating the shit out of them. Oh yeah, dude. It is a small price to pay to say it. Well, <laughs> just occasionally while you're sleeping, you just get a bunch of dead legs, yeah. but you still get to unleash. A few eyes on a crush. 
Yeah, and mm-hmm. if they catch you, that's a ticket. <laughs> yeah. That's true. They catch you crushing. This is <laughs> <It's> clearly <laughs> just another way to arrest black people. They're like, true. we're going to make true. menthol <laughs> cigarettes illegal. Remember after slavery, they made no loitering laws? So yeah, they could true. still get their, like, cotton picked. <laughs> so, like, you can hang around. I was like, well, we can't get jobs. I was like, You're, come on. Yeah. I got a job Let's right go. now. Yeah, yeah they got to do that. They got to figure out a way to still, like, your taillights out. I'm like, I'm not even driving. Like, yeah. yeah, this is yeah. the this is the yeah, point. It's, it's a little too easy. Little, this yeah. is the most obvious. Like, if you had to pick one, menthol. If you like make one thing illegal that just yeah. black people are gonna get arrested for. Yeah, they're called Cadillacs in jail. Oh yeah, come through with the Cadillacs. Damn. That's all the black dudes call them. Also, white trash. What? Oh yeah, they cross oh, menthol. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah man. Cro- yeah. I mean, dude, that's that's a secret of the universe. Yeah, yeah. Black white, dudes and white trash kind of fuck with the same stuff. <laughs> I, they should I, just get along. So they apparently, should get along. They the, need a Bill Clinton. It's the <laughs> cooling mechanism that makes your throat less irritated, which makes you want to be able to smoke more. Hmm. Which is why they're so harmful. It's minty. Yeah. Is that uh, I like a menthol once in a while. Yeah. Is that why they're harmful? That's what I've heard. Huh? Like a regular cigarette, people. I heard they put fiberglass in your throat when I was twelve, and I've been running too. with that yeah. ever since. With yeah. Just menthols? I mean, it's a or it's something I heard when I was. 12. I heard that about all. So, so I heard about dip. Too. Really? Yeah. Fiberglass? Yeah. Hmm. Shit. And I kept that until I was about thirty. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it cuts your mouth up, and then the tobacco fiberglass. gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you're retarded. I was like, what? <laughs> sure do you, were, do you dip? Are you dip? I had to. I had to stop, but I still dip like uh, zin. It's like a nicotine pouch. Is that the pouch. snooze? I think I don't know. The I'm not toasted sure. stuff from Sweden? No. Do you spit still? No. Oh, that's that's probably the it's snooze stuff. You probably know about the snooze, the right? The spit. The spit is like that's like you're not yeah, coming in my car if you're spitting. You don't spit. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's tough to open. You, you go to you go to Sweden and, right and those the Scandinavian countries. The the women do this too. What? Yeah, I heard about. They it. have they pack the snooze in the lips. It's like Give a shot. But you don't spit snooze, right? You just don't. I'll put it between your gum and your lip. I just had on your top. dental surgery on Ooh, this. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. The other definitely project. don't do that. Don't do anything. Yeah, it'll yeah, burn. Definitely don't do that. Yeah, that would hurt like hell. Yeah. I'm going to give it a rip. I yeah, like, rip it, rip it. I like France these every once in a while. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's Am I? Power. Yeah, I like it. Up, dude. I've always liked it. Yeah. But, but I, I was asking why am I nuts? Because I, oh. love, I love when you say stuff like that. Because you're just... You're just fucking throwing caution to the wind, dude. I can't tell you how much I want another bite of that apple, but I've held off. Do it. You guys told me not brown. to. It's very crispy. No, I don't want to t- choose your life for you, dude. What did Francis? What did you major in at Harvard? Uh, <laughs> government with a focus on the Middle East. Really? Wow. Yeah. You wanted to bring down the Muslims? Yeah, man. No, I wanted to work for the CIA. True story. Really? What are the CIA up to? Aren't they bringing down the Muslims? I think they are among them. That's one of their goals. You would you would have dug in nicely. They would have never thought you were an operative. <laughs> 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 well, you know. You're right. <laughs> Did you ever see that movie, uh, Bridge of Spies? No, it wasn't Bridge. What's, what's the one with Leo? Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Where Catch me if you can. Not Catch me if you can. Yes, that's the one. Siriana. You guys are way That's got to be it. Siriana or the one with Russell Crowe? No. um, The one with Russell Crowe. Yes. Yes. You're right. Thank you. Gladiator. What's eating Gilbert Grape? We're doing it. The cast is too litty. So... <laughs> Middle Eastern studies, U.S. government. And you no, went to Middle East. Did they government. tell you who did 9-11 in college? <gasps> no. Fuck, it's bullshit. It's secret no. safe, Ari. <laughs> 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 you edit that out, please. What kind of shit did they teach you about? <laughs> well, I'll... I, he said yes. I, you know, <laughs> the, I, I tried to learn Arabic, but it was too hard. True. It was fucking hard. You Do you remember any words? Barak Alaufi. Uh... You was just that made that no, up, dude. That was racist as hell. <laughs> no, that means, uh, like, and then there's, you know, inshallah. And then, obviously, uh, go with Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, yeah. Chleb. Yeah, you know, now you're making That's it. a dog. What? Chleb. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> My brother in law is an Arab. I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it makes me sick, dude. I might join the CIA now to go over there and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that new CIA commercial? No, join the CIA. What? Yeah. No. Oh, the girl one? Did what you the see fuck? it? Is it? You're talking about Homeland? No, it basically <laughs> is. It, really? Claire, There's Claire a, Danes. I don't know what it is. There's like an ad for the CIA. It's like what? a video of this Latina woman. Yeah. She Latinx. literally is like, I am Latinx. And she's like, I'm a, she's like, I suffer from anxiety disorder. She's just like one of those, she's a woke 
And she's joining the CIA. And she's in the CIA. What the fuck? Why would they? Why would they? Use and they're her advertising as, it. They're like, look like how the, powerful these kick-ass women are in the CIA. Wow, it's insane. Whoa. I don't understand. Are it, they? Dude, are they you, saying like crazy. you? Yeah, they're have... trying to destroy the family. They're going to take all of the wives and put them in the CIA. Obviously, this is the next level. <laughs> it's the crazy. And also, every single military commercial was like, "I'm a black woman in the Air Force." <laughs> yeah. like, what? Those commercials are doing it. Nobody knows how to be. Wo- so they're it's like, like oh, go, oh, black go, stuff. We'll do black stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially having to... the military be woke. They like just come out of like bombing a small yeah. village, and they're like, "What are we doing? Black ladies? All right." They nice. used to properly so target words while bombing village. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had the mm-hmm. best white trash ads. It was like, "Are you ready to climb a mountain and fight a fucking dragon?" We do yeah. more. Yeah, and we every poor fun. white yeah. guy was like, "Hell yeah. yeah!" Are you ready to face your worst tattoo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's like, yeah. Act like you've been there before. <laughs> Let's hand the ball to the ref on this one. We don't need to dance. <laughs> Speaking of handing the ball to the ref, dude, the Colorado Buffaloes have been cursed since I talked about them. <laughs> They've been totally cursed. So, speaking of handing the ball to the ref. <laughs> <laughs> they have been cursed, man. They should have handed the ball to the ref, dude. They didn't do that? No, they're still fucking showboating. <laughs> yeah, they, didn't they lose in like triple OT or double? Uh, they won... They lost in regulation to Stanford. I saw that. Stanford, they, they blew like a 28-point lead. The whitest team, dude. The whitest team possible came back, dude. That's, that is white perseverance. Down 28. <laughs> no one's yelling at the coaches. No one's throwing their helmets. They're just like, we still have a job to do. We have to finish this game. <laughs> <laughs> you go up 7 nothing on a black team, they, they explode. <laughs> <laughs> But don't let them go up seven nothing. <laughs> You're in trouble. I know, dude. <laughs> oh fuck! I saw that they were down by like it was like twenty eight to nothing. Yeah, they were fucking killing them. That's crazy. And then those boys from Palo Alto. Well, the game. I, I was checking the QBs stats and like the uh, sure. both of the QBs put on like ridiculous games, yeah, like five Shador's touchdowns. Really, really fucking good. Yeah, it was like fucking passed for 475 yards, five touchdowns. It was in both of the, it was insane. Again, I want to take it back to this. It's not Colorado's fault, dude. It's the fucking ESPN. I know. I fucking hate ESPN. Yeah, they just do. They keep doing this where they're like, let's check in on Colorado. Wow, this is so powerful. White coaches hate this. It's it like, was, why do you guys fucking lay off, dude? And then also, they're like, all right, enough Colorado. Let's check out the WNBA again. <laughs> the turn it, okay. Hour south of Fresno. It was uh, it was everything they said it was going to be and more. What was it? Just it like, was just a fucking, it's like an oil town. It's like an old, what? so I think there was a lot of the, the boys were working, a lot of working men. True, true. They were ready to let off some steam. Oh, the guys on stuff like this, you're saying? Guys that would be fuming if they saw that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you gotta get that out of my house. <laughs> not get, not get, no disrespect to you. I'm just saying if, uh, if I have visitors, for and sure. they come in and there's the only everything else in here is beautiful blue books, true, <laughs> and beautiful blue art. This is a good pop of color. This right? is my. I've got a, a little Eiffel 56 house going. <laughs> Oh, blue. I need a blue house <laughs> with a blue car. I need a blue car. Oh, dude, <laughs> don't break the U. Uh, there was the thumbnail for the whale was on TV at my sister's house. Of course, my sister told me this. Really? Oh, she, yeah. just, she didn't even say I wasn't to you. there. That's fucked. My sister called me to go, hey, just so you know, <laughs> my, our fucking three-year-old, my three-year-old niece was looking at the t- t- television queue and the thumbnail for the whale was on, which is just his fat fucking face. <laughs> it looks a lot like me, especially, <laughs> no, I swear to God, if it's just his face. <laughs> and if you're three years old, and she goes, Uncle Shane. <laughs> I got the phone call and it was like, hey, just so you know, because I thought you were the whale. I was like, all right, well, thanks. I just said for real. I was like, all right, good call. I'll talk to you later. (laughs) Thanks. I haven't talked to you in three weeks. Which I have since been paying for. It was in Phoenix and the Phillies beat them that night. Mm. And they all, somebody yelled out. They were like, Philly sucks. I was like, scoreboard pussy. It was 6-1, dude. Yeah. Now you got to go back to Philly. That's it. Good season. Those are At the least Phillies. the Cardinals are good. Good season. True. Those are the Phillies I know, though. Just Those were the Phillies we it, knew, dude. dude. Just blowing it. Oh. Yeah, I, I heard yesterday. How do you feel about your Phillies? I told you, I'm proud of them, man. They made it that far. I'm proud of my Phillies for making it that far. <laughs> I really am. I mean, dude, getting up 6-1 and one and blowing it, it's kind of loser shit, but, yeah. you know, that's what we do. <laughs> they, no, they won that game. That oh. was six one was the score. They were up two nothing in the series. Oh my bad, my bad. Then they went back. Oh, yeah, no, that would be like then, a yeah, it was, 
Then they went back to Phoenix, lost the first two, yeah. so it's two two. Then they won Game Three in Phoenix to make it three two Phillies. That's what it was. So now we got Phoenix. six and seven back in Philly. And they blew and they it. fucking blew and they it. They fucking blew it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our friend was there. It was funny too because he took. It was his. I think his cousin was supposed to bring his wife, but his cousin's wife is pregnant. So I was telling him, I'm like, yeah, it's actually not good for a pregnant lady to be in there. It might be, you know, pretty crazy. He was just like, honestly. I don't feel comfortable being there myself yeah, yeah, as blizz. a grown man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel comfortable being yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, blizz is a delicate flower, dude. Blizz is very delicate. He's a delicate flower. I can't imagine him at that game. He was there. He was <laughs> like, crazy. he was like, the place is either going to explode or implode yeah. either way. I think it. I think it was probably a very solemn exit. I'm glad he got to go there and witness a catastrophic loss. Yeah, I mean, you got to get into that too. Just be, just getting into like the huge. Just That's a, all I see, dude. Watching how many people were there that at the Citizens Bank uh, Park? Forty two thousand. I, I think. can get into that. Just watching like forty two thousand people's spirits deflate. It's it's, like, <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time. I'm one of the people. Every Notre Dame game I go to, I'm like, why? Why not us, dude? Why can't we get fucking one? I'm going back to the hotel. <laughs> it takes five hours to get back to the hotel. You're just furious oh <laughs> super bowl same thing oh that was Although rough. super bowl is tough because it's 50 50 so yeah the, the attendance uh, you get to watch people you get to watch people in pure elation and ecstasy it's night and day yeah while you're walking out hung over sad God, about a sports sucks. game and then you're like why do i care oh, why do i care why so the much? fuck do i care about this i got my own problems <laughs> Like, these guys are supposed to help me get rid of my problems, and they're fucking causing more problems. <laughs> and I lost money, too. And that. I fucking lost a lot of money. <laughs> they fucked up my investments. But don't worry. It's all looking up now that we've got our hands on this fine Tina U. True. <laughs> <laughs> We're back financially. How can he not close his computer, but he can jack off? He set it up, got into fucking That's a great question, whale position. Girl. So he like set it up kind of a little he bit. Gets into his whale he put it he put it up. I understand. He put it up a little bit high so he can get like a nice vantage of it and then he chilled back on the couch. He so laid he, back far enough to get his fat, if he had time he could have grabbed his walker, stood himself back up, but he started having a heart attack. No, he's saying how can he jack off? How can oh, he, he reach his penis? He has to literally they just kind of sh he is like he's under his stomach just fucking pumping. Probably feels great. That's got to be fucking awesome. That's got to be uh, of all the. It's like a cream pie of all basically. the problems. Yeah, you get to, it is a, it's for a real. Pie. He's in veg. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of cons to wailing out. True. I might give this thing a shot. Later. True, true, dude. Dude, it was pretty tight. But yeah, I, he was. I guess like the exertion. You could cream pie like your own thighs. Oh yeah, you can put your belly against. Oh. Right? Don't you think you could? Whoa! I never thought about that. Give it a fucking shot. I never thought of that. That'd be kind of nice. Could be nice. Mm. Might have to christen this house with a thigh, <laughs> <laughs> cream thigh, with an exposed asshole cream pie. <laughs> Get walked in on. <laughs> <Somebody> walk. uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Trying to simulate a cream pie with my stomach <laughs> and my thighs. That'd be nice. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's the Patreon logo. I saw that. I kind of that's put what that, that means. That's the new logo. Yeah, see, it's on the side of the box. Are they launching through us? Is this a launch? This might be a launch of the new logo. This is a launch of the new logo. Are we being used? Is this are satanic? Being, are you being popping? Is this some type of satanic sculpture? <laughs> Don't touch it, it dude. You're going to get the It does remind me of something if I have to say so myself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's got, it's got this shape to it. I fucking recognize That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely about right. It's me in any pair of gym shorts just <laughs> sticking straight out, dude. The dreaded nub. Damn, dude, we got the first ever fucking Tinas Award. <laughs> Tinas Award. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, we got uh, excellence in Tinas. We've seen your tennis over many episodes. We've, We've seen you it. picking at your tennis every <laughs> single episode. In the opening scene, did you watch the whale? No. The opening scene is the best opening scene I think of every movie. Can I give you just the better than Saving Private Ryan and Gladiator? Fifty times better. Well, that's <laughs> it, a terrible it, take. <laughs> I'm it's, it's more. I would say it's more hair raising than the reenactment of storming D Day. Yeah. Can I tell you what well, happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the dude is fapping to gay porn right off the bat. That's yeah. And he starts having a heart attack, and someone walks in. And he's so fat he can't close his laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the plane, dude, dying laughing. <laughs> he's gay. <laughs> he's gay. 
gay? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know the whale was gay. It's gay. It makes it worse, Zaza. You fucking. He's, he's fat and gay. And he's so lazy. <laughs> He just talks about writing all the time. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a writer. I was a whale. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I was telling... Maybe I didn't even tell... I thought I told Brittany this. Maybe I didn't tell anyone. But that's why I stay in peak physical shape. So that when I'm... Not if, but when I'm watching gay porn, if someone yeah, comes I in, I can go... <laughs> <laughs> real quick. Yeah, I practice all day. <laughs> I go... <laughs> time. Time. <laughs> Dude, he's like... Ugh. And the kid comes in. He's like, yeah, "How can I help you?" And the kid just watches two dudes have sex in the shower. And he's like, "Are you okay, <laughs> dude?" It's the best beginning of anything. Yeah, this thing got on here. I can't turn it. <laughs> he has this little grabber. He picks everything up with. It's, Fuck. It's the fucking funny. Maybe thing. I will have to see that. You, is you that would... is significantly more jarring than Dita? Oh, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, it's crazy. But that is good that he's gay. It's awesome. It's far because it's a lot easier to find dudes that'll get in there and start fucking you if you're that size. Yeah, he's having a tough time. Oh, he's, he can't, can't find any bros? No, there's no bros. He had a bro. That's, ah, whole, that's bullshit. The whole nature of the movie is he did have a bro. And his bro. You don't think a skinny black dude would come in there and fucking plow <laughs> <bow> him? <laughs> 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 I mean, maybe, dude. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not into penetrative anal sex. Sure, I don't want her sure, to penetrate. Sure. I just, I'm just saying. You like a little knocking on the door and then go, whoa, that's forbidden. Yeah, exactly. Or just, just. Nothing wrong with some forbidden stuff. But dude, I'm telling you, it was just, you know, like when a, a girl's hand touches you, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? It was just yeah. girl fingers just traversing just a yeah. whole forbidden area. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Out of nowhere, too. Was she gentle with your testicles? So gentle, dude. That's what you need. The worst so is when a lady just fucking manhandles your nuts. To like, dude, like, dude. I had a, I had a yeah, talk to her. She was she used to fucking grip my fucking balls yeah, up hard as hell. And I'm I've, like, I've received somebody gripping my balls. I'm like, don't. Yeah, I, and I'm like, well, that's the end of that hurt. You know, I yeah. lost a boner. Oh, yeah. Nice. Or it's just next level now. Or it's just next it's level. Just like maybe I'm into pain. <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't like it. I'm such a baby because my and then I start instantly be like, if I fucking did that to you, you'd be fucking furious. <laughs> if I squeeze your balls like that, you'd be furious. <laughs> I will tell you that the the acoustics in this house are this is fart heaven. Oh, I just by myself hitting church farts in here. <laughs> 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 I never thought about it's that. It's wonderful. Oh my god! You don't even consider it until you hit one, and you go, "Oh!" I never even thought about yeah. that. So that's something to consider going forward. I've, dude, I don't know what it is. I think my body's adjusting to the meat down here because I've been hitting like a farmer's market and getting like, like I had that lamb. I gave you some of that. Yeah. I was like, it, you can taste it, dude. It tastes like you're just like eating the hay of a barn. Some of the fat. I'm like, damn, this is like, this, this is, shit's fresh. Oh. Some of the farts I've been grabbing off these fucking lambs and these beefs, dude, down here. Well, been. thank you for blessing me with some of the fart lamb. Try it, dude. It, I it will could, have the fart lamb. I didn't know if it was the lamb itself, as so I was eating some other stuff. I'll be sure to keep you updated. I'll see. I'll check. I'll give you a phone I'll call. I'll have a clipboard tonight. <laughs> I'll give you a phone call. I'll say the lamb works. <laughs> Bring more of that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Not in my heavy chairs. <laughs> Not, Not in the heaviest fucking chairs you've ever seen in your life. True. Why do they like, make the furniture? The furniture is so heavy. I told you because that way, you, if you're, you know, if you have enough means and enough wealth, you want to see people fucking. Oh yeah, you die. need to, yeah. Just yeah. get trapped under one of your chairs, and you go. Most unfortunate. <laughs> the effort must go on. My stuff must be moved. I must a, have more stuff in here. I'm sick of the view. Bring here. in the heaviest fucking chair you've ever seen in your life. I'm no longer stunned by this view. I want to be stunned yeah. and left aghast. He is thick as hell. Thick the as pizza hell. man. Now that you say that, the pizza man's trying to smash. I think is he really? The pizza man he just leaves two pies. First of all, he does two pies. He leaves two pies on Obviously. his doorstep. Dude, too large, too large on the doorstep. And the pizza man's always like, "Are you okay in there?" And he's he might be having him on his dick. He's always like, uh, he's trying to like come in the whole movie. He's like, "My name is blah blah blah," and he's like. <sighs> Thank you, my name's Joy. He won't face the pizza man. And one day, that, I, I don't want to spoil the whole movie, but... Tell me, I don't give a The fuck. pizza man, at one point, he opens the door, and the pizza man is waiting. He, like, tricks him as if he left, and he's waiting. He looks at him, he's like... Oh, and just grabs the pizza <laughs> and goes... Yeah. <laughs> Can he walk? Barely. Okay. Barely. With a walker. He can walk with a walker. But then he just gets 
two pies and goes ham on him, bro. I've seen clips of him feeding. The feast. He feasts at one point. He breaks down and feasts, and it's like, it's, it's like I was literally like, like I, there's he was jerking off the gay porn and stuff, and I was like, whatever. He started eating. I was looking around the airport, like or the airplane, like. I don't want anyone to see. Yeah, that was you just, hiding your gay porn. It, <laughs> that's fucking weird. That is the worst feeling is on an airplane and you start watching. Yeah, just I the, judge if I see people watching a movie with sex, I'm like over their seat, kind of like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Chill out. I Wait, watched I watched a guy watching like uh, the George Foreman movie, and then he watched like another like what's the movie with like all the dudes in a deli in like Brooklyn or something? Did you ever see that movie before? It's like a I don't know. It was like it was it was just a fucking weird movie. It was just a bunch of it, it seemed like he clicked on like the black voices section or something. Is it a black movie of dudes in a deli in Brooklyn? It was like a Latin like a Latino movie. But I thought he like was ch- I thought he was like checking like the cole- like the racial cl- uh, collections. Le- yeah, the racial collections need to go. We've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Eagles. Don't ear. fucking drop that shit, dude. <laughs> I, dude it, it's meant to be dropped. It's set up this to break. It's haunted, dude. It's set up to break. They're probably fucking recording other shit through here, dude. This is I'm, This is going to the McCusker house. I got to get this debug. The kids are going to love it. Yeah, my fucking yeah, they'd love it. I mean, one could make an argument that was made for. There we go. There it is. Now it's standing up. Oh, nice. I mean, my yeah, my daughter. Actually, this could be a fine decoration. Although I do want it out of the house. Yeah, really. It does seem haunted, and I, I'm here alone. True. I've got a. I'm. I am afraid of ghosts. True. The ghosts have been acting up lately. Really? Is it still spooky here? You're settling in. It's still spooky. I, yeah, because I don't realize it. Because last week I was just doing shows, so I was coming home a little fucked up. Yeah, true. No ghosts. Bobby. That is the ghost last, remedy. I was I was sober last night and uh That's why the farmer took to the whiskey. Yes. It'd be scary as hell. It's so scary. Yeah, dude. dude. You're on a fucking farm by yourself with like yeah. just a little bunch of little kids and you're like, damn, I'm the I'm the sole representative of this family against all the forces of nature. I'd take to the bottle too. <laughs> dude, stop looking at this stop lady. Stop looking at Black you, just gets dude. distracted us. Damn, that's fucking sick though. Gosh, how do you say that word? Go ache? I'm not, this is a trap. How the fuck do you say gauche? Gauche? I think gauche you say. I think it's yeah. gauche. That's a different thing. It's gauache. It's ble- I think gauache means bleeding hente. <laughs> I had a feeling the screen was a bad idea. I'm just going to look at screens. <laughs> the hell There's we're nothing talking? you can put up there that's not going to... Yeah, True. I'm still going to stare at that. But. We're talking ghosts, and uh, so you think there's ghosts. I fucking busted my ass in public. Oh Good. my god, yes, dude! I was, dude. I was jogging. You might be Australian. <laughs> you legit might be Australian. You might have Australian. You might have Australian. You might be. <laughs> I was jogging the other day. It was last week. Oh, was... dude, falling in public sucks. Hold dude, on, this this be short. Yeah. When I was at my fattest, most depressed, right after I quit football, I was yeah. about three hundred twenty pounds. Big dog. Yeah. I was back at home. I just quit Elon. Mm-hmm. Well, failed out. Uh, I was. I went to get the mail, and then when I was walking inside, I rolled my in the front yard, dude. Rolled my ankle on the sidewalk and fell into the front yard. What were you wearing? What were you wearing? <laughs> Just. I was wearing a Rude von Nistelrooy jersey t, so a Netherlands t-shirt. So it was like bright orange, <laughs> and then baggy sh- like shorts down to my shins. Oh. I mean, it was it was oh. truly it was one of those moments. I was like. Fuck, dude! I gotta make some changes. This is wild. So, how yeah. long did it take you to get up? It wasn't. It's not like I was ridiculous. I mean, that was twenty pounds heavier than. So, I, did you lay there for a second and be like, "Fucking, I'm not moving"? Yeah. Well, did I remember you? I fell on my hands and knees, which makes it funny oh. to roll your ankle and then fall <laughs> straight down on your knee, like scrape your knee. And be, and have to walk inside, just like, oh my. You landed the tabletop position. I landed tabletop. Oh. And then I was like, please, if a neighbor saw that, that'd truly be the funniest thing they could possibly see. Dude. Fat dude's falling, oh. a big dude falling, I've just com- walking. I've honestly compilated. I've uh, watched a compilation of fat dudes falling. There's one video of a fat good. dude slipping on a German Shepherd's dump, 
<laughs> that is literally the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. All right. That is pretty good. So you, you were out public and so fell. I'm jogging, dude. I'm jogging. And, uh, you know, had a lot on the mind. So I'm sitting there driving. Like, I'm just jogging. Be like, I'm not fucking This kidding. is pre or post. Oh, this pre- is. It's like during. This is in the bullshit. middle. So I'm jogging. I need to go for running. Clear oh, my head. Oh, you whole time, fell? whole time I'm running, I'm like, I'm not fucking gay. Fuck those guys. And, dude, <laughs> I hit the fucking curb pops up. I hit, oh. not a curb. The sidewalk from tree roots popped up. I hit it. Tuck did like a literal a, a somersault. I fell, tucked and rolled, somersaulted, scraped my fucking. I think my. Uh, oh, you tried to knee. do a roll. I did one of those like land like a spaz on the palms of your hands. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I scabbed like that, landed on my knee, then I rolled and popped back up on my feet and just kept moving. And there was a guy like fifty feet ahead, and I like just ran by him, just like looking at him, like, <laughs> "Did you see?" And he just like he had his kid, and he just like, kind of like looked away. It's like, so funny that I know the roll looked like shit, oh, but so I know funny. you. Yeah, and I, I know you're like, I'm gonna get out of this fall by ducking and rolling, right? I mean, now. I did. It was just I like landed. while you were falling, I bet you were like, <laughs> I, I can take control of this situation and it fall happened, correctly. Dude, it, so, it was like, remember All you right. fall off a bike when you're little, and like yeah. almost is like the world just spins around you real quick, and you're like, what the fuck just happened? Yes. First of all, I table topped as any fucking as any fat, true as any fat, as any true would do. fat wagon. So I table topped first of all. So I table topped, and as I table topped, because I lived, dude, I, I have a scrape on my knee. I can't hide it. My palms were yeah. gashed up. I, I have, have scars from fat falls, <laughs> dude. I just have scarred up hands. Fat people are like cats. They just land on their hands and knees. <laughs> You drop him on a building like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> so I landed oh, god hands dear. and knees and out of hands and knees position. I think it was like an attempt to like look kind of cool. Yeah, that's I what I got. I, I, I know that that's what you were doing. Sure. But it was automatic. I didn't even try to do it. I landed a tabletop. Yeah, of course. It's in your hands DNA, and knees out, popped up, and just kept running. <laughs> shoulder, I shoulder rolled. Tuck shoulder and rolled. And, yeah, what uh, can you do? What can you do? I just mean, kept running. Man. I when, I, when I fat fell in the front yard, I took it in. Mm-hmm. I let A lot of people don't have that in them. To let darkness just consume them. Yeah. I fell and stayed in the tabletop for a second. <laughs> I remember it. I stayed there for a second just like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I dropped the mail. <laughs> they, should do, they, should do this. they should do a fat superhero. You know when superheroes drop down, they land like one <laughs> knee with their fist. Just have a fat superhero <laughs> fucking slam the table. forward and it's like, oh. <laughs> Oh fuck! He goes to get off the ground. He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you got. I mean, getting up from tables, you got to put a knee forward, slowly stand up, all yeah. your weight on your leg. Yeah, man. It's tough. You could also you could roll another ankle just getting up. Three twenties, <laughs> big dog status. <laughs> what size? What was? What size T was that? Three X. That's a that's a that's a double. That's a tight double. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I think they were all stretched out to fuck, dude. It's true. Yeah. It was a rough time. Yeah. It was a dark period. Breeze over. <laughs> In the summer when it would fall out, there'd just be tons of dead men. <laughs> He's a moron. It's like I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, f yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. I'll tell you what, I like IKEA. Putting it together makes me want to take my girlfriend on a trip in a van. <laughs> Let's take a deeper look at the early days of Shane Gillis' stand-up comedy career. The first clip that we're going to see is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's some of the earliest stand-up footage that we have from Shane Gillis. This is from an old YouTube burner account that he created and was found on the internet. Let's take a look and see how good he is, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah. 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 Yo, shout out Creep Records. <laughs> Sick, dude. I, mean, I don't think I've ever been at a record store. It's fucking cool. It's like blockbuster of music. It's just a dying fucking industry. You guys sell vapes and shit, though, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm rarely in a store that I'm just so confident I hate every single person that shops here. <laughs> we got a frisbee over by the cool fucking. <laughs> by the weed posters? There's where the frisbees on? We're all, we're all like in our 30s. <laughs> I'm just trying to get in a fight right now, dude. That'd be sick. <laughs> I just knocked out some fucking hipster. Sublime. Sublime. 
Asia. <laughs> now, I don't know. It's, it's funny to talk about fights, because it's such a fucking douche thing to do. Like, you know, I'm the fucking man in fights. But I am. <laughs> Unfortunately, the thing that sucks, I, I'm undefeated in fights. I've never lost. But it's not like I win in a cool way. Like, it, I have weird strength. It used to be called something different. <laughs> now we're all woke. <laughs> so it's, it's weird strength now. Until they take away my right to say weird. <laughs> but no, so I mean, I have that kind of strength, so no fight I get in is ever fucking cool. Every... This is, this is what that means. I've never lost a fight, but I've also never not cried in a fight. <laughs> That's every fight. Every fight is just me getting punched in the face first, and then I cry, and I have one move. I just cry and walk straight at the person. <laughs> and, Why would you hit me? <laughs> and then I squeeze him as hard as I can. <laughs> That's the only move I had. It's just, we could have been best friends, you fucking idiot! And I try as hard as I can. Which sucks, because when you win a fight, you want to be like, yeah, dude. Like, I've won fights at parties and been like, in your head, you're like, if you win a fight at a party, maybe you'll get some, some pussy. People will think you're cool, but no, no chick wants to fuck that guy. No chick's like, oh man, you see that, that Shrek who cried? <laughs> Uh, who's that Shrek over there that cried and squeezed that guy? He just walked right at him like an Irish Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all my fights. I got in a fight uh, in North Carolina. I, I played college football uh, very briefly. I quit. And, uh, but when I was still playing, so I was big at the time. I'm big now, but I was like... I was like 6'3", 300. I was benching 350, dude, I was fucking... So imagine that Frankenstein move. Six, bench 350, I'm like, oh God, fucking murder me! <laughs> but I, we were watching my friends fight, and uh, we were, I played on the football team, so we would fight like the townies. And it was division one, so all my friends were just jacked black dudes. It was pretty fucking sick. And we would just beat the shit out of these people. It was like Burlington, North Carolina. They were all white trash. And uh, I was standing next to this dude watching my friend fight, and I, I definitely was just scratching my ass. <laughs> or, so I was just reaching behind me, and this guy thought I was reaching for a gun. And just right next to me, just socked me in the fucking mouth. <laughs> this was the coolest thing I've done. I chugged my beer and slammed it. And I was like, you're gonna have to hit me harder than that. I just went in the full fucking And I grabbed him and I remember he fell perfectly. Like he fell s I, I f he fell sitting facing that way. Like he fell sitting right here and I just grabbed him by his hair and fucking People had to pull me off and hit me off. hit me! And then I, the last fight I got in was in, at Penn State. And uh, this guy, I was at a party. I was at a college party when I was out of college, which is fucking sick. And uh, I was with my friends, and my one friend, who's a shit talker, was like, he just was like, this kid's talking shit on you, dude. He's trying to fight you. And I was like, no, he's not. Like, he definitely wasn't. He was just sitting there. And uh, he was like, then that guy just stood up and was like, what the fuck if I am, dude? Like, what are you going to do? And so I was like, well, then we'll fight. <laughs> we'll definitely fight. And he was so little. That's another thing. I've never fought anyone my size. So I'm bragging about being undefeated, but I only fight people I'm definitely going to beat the fuck out of. <laughs> That's the rule. You never fight a wrestler, and you always fight someone you're definitely going to beat. Like women. Uh, I'm also undefeated against women. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. 
<laughs> my fucking sister's here. She used, to fuck, she used to fuck me up. She's seven years older than me. She played college basketball. She fucked me up. And then in fifth grade, I just beat the shit out of my sister. <laughs> Took it out on her. Classic Spears, dude. <laughs> That's funny. One time, my sister, she's here. She lost a game uh, in basketball her senior year, and I was talking shit. I was like, "You guys fucking suck." <laughs> At the dinner table, and my dad was like, "All right, square up, finish it." <laughs> and he fucking we cleared out the living room table, and my sister and I boxed. <laughs> Just bare knuckle fucking box. And she fucking rocked me. I was getting killed. I was like, I don't want to hit her back. <laughs> and she was pissed, yeah. Katie's here. She punched, she also got drunk and punched me in the face over a game of Scrabble. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day, she punched me in the forehead. Just a jab in the forehead. What a fucking loser. <laughs> was, how old were you at that point? You were old, dude. You tried to lie about that. You were like 30. You were 30 and wasted at, at Aunt Kay's house. At Dillsburg, PA. Right after the archery contest. But, what was I saying about North Carolina? Or no, Penn State. So this kid, I just took him outside. He, was, he started stretching like a kickboxer. He started doing leg shit, and he was like, I'm a fucking state champion kickboxer. He was like 120 pounds. Like, I was like, dude, I don't know, I don't care what fucking karate you know. I'm just gonna grab you. I'm gonna fucking grab you. I'm gonna fuck you up. Don't do this. And he kept stretching. I remember he had dog tags on. So that's the type of fucking douche this guy is. Not a soldier. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hating on the troops. He just had dog tags. Shout out Peggy. <laughs> Forgot you have dog tags. That's funny. But, uh, so we walk outside. And I immediately I just, walk, I just walked at him and grabbed him and held him. And there was like a waist high wall in this person's backyard. And I was just holding him over it. And he was like, okay, dude, okay, okay. Like, he just immediately quit. And then I was like, alright, man, chill. And I let go of him, and from his back, he fucking punched me in the face. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I held him and did that thing, where I freaked out. I held him with one hand and punched. And I broke his nose, there was blood everywhere, it was fucking sick. It was fucking sick. And then I blacked out, I got drunk. And I woke up in bed next to this girl. And I had blood on my hands. I was, I was the fucking man. I was like, you want to hook up? And she was like, ew, gross. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, none of my fights are cool. My dad has cool fights. My dad's a fucking animal. My dad grew up in a creek. On a creek. <laughs> Basically in it. <laughs> The Condes Aguina in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. It's like five, how many brothers do you have? Four? They're all fucking savages. They're all huge, too. They're all huge, jacked fucking idiots. And it's a weird way they lived. Like, it was a white trash, like, compound of people. And they had cats. There were cats everywhere. There were too many cats. And their horse one time squashed a cat. And it got in there. And my dad one time he said he started the lawnmower and there was a cat in it. There were fucking cats everywhere. There were so many cats that my grandpa put them all in a bag and threw them in the creek. And then they hit the dam and broke open. And then several of the kittens crawled back to the house and he was like, alright, these ones can stay. These are tough fucking cats. Which is a great story. Well, this story, this is a fucking weird story. They had a cow that they killed and ate. That was like my dad's pet. He cried and ate it. So yeah, my dad's tough. I grew up in a nice house and just played video games all the time. My dad grew up like just a moron. He wanted to grow fish in their pool over the winter. <laughs> You'd, put, you'd catch fish from the creek and put them in the pool and it would freeze over. And then in the summer when it would thaw out, there'd just be tons of dead fish. He's a moron. Oh my god, his stories are fucking hilarious. But this was a different time. Like, he, he had to fight other kids at the Knights of Columbus picnic. He remember being like, fourth grade having to fist fight for the dads? But, uh... 
No, he got in a fight one time. My uncle, my uncle uh, Frank, he's the oldest, and he's the only one that's not huge and jacked. He's like a normal guy. But, I mean, he's still a fucking psycho. Like, he went to Notre Dame. He left Notre Dame. He, he, he went to the Marines in Vietnam and then left and came back and became a prison warden. <laughs> he's a fucking animal. And this is how funny it is, because he worked, he's, he's been in prisons his whole life. So, like, he talks like a black guy from the 70s. <laughs> I'm like, I'll, see, I'll see you. I'm like, what's up, Holmes? <laughs> I'm like, all right. You job ass motherfucker. I'm like, all right. Like, my, my cousin Jeff caught him bench pressing in the garage listening to Ghetto Boys. <laughs> he's like, like 68. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, he, he, at the time, he was a volunteer firefighter in Steelton, Steelton, Pennsylvania. And, uh, he would, he, would, he would be like a first responder, so he had a, what is it called, a scanner? And he would take calls, and he would get to the fire first. So he got a call once, and uh, he raced over there to get it. These people said there was a house fire. And he got there, and it was just a, uh, just four fucking idiots. And it was a motorcycle that had caught fire that they just put out <clears throat> with a garden hose. <laughs> it's a tough sentence. <laughs> yeah, shout out fucking Hacker Four. <laughs> Munich gold. <laughs> yeah, do you want the beer the Nazis drink? <laughs> Here it is, guaranteed. It says since 1470. This beer, this beer has been through a ton. Because of the Protestant Reformation, the Holocaust, this beer went through that. So my Uncle Joe gets there. Sorry, I'm going over. It'll be quick, I'll wrap it up. Uh, my Uncle Joe gets there, and it's just a fucking shitty motorcycle that was on fire. They put it out with a garden hose, and he was like, all right, well, now I need to use your phone, you fucking idiots. And they're like, all right, you can come use your phone. He's inside, and he's, still, he's talking shit on the guys that called. He, was, he called the fire department, and he was like, hey, don't rush through the city to get here. Like, don't speed through the fucking city. This is just a bullshit fire. These fucking morons. <laughs> Set. This is something. That, and while he's talking shit on these guys, calling them fucking morons, one of them just sucker punches them. <laughs> and knocks them out in their kitchen. Just knocked out my uncle. And they, they, they obviously went on his way. He went home and he was like, well, he was all fucked up. He got home and he saw my dad and I guess he told my dad what had happened. So my dad was like, fuck that shit. I'm getting the boys. We're going to these fuckers' house. We're going to fuck them up. So my dad and three of his friends... Uh, one of them had a broken arm, which is funny. <laughs> a cast on his arm. They, they get in the car and they drive over to this guy's house and they kick the door open and it's just a family. They got the wrong house. <laughs> it's just a family watching TV. <laughs> so, like the kids were on the floor and it looked nice. They're like, where the fuck is he? They're like, oh, they, they live next door. So they're like, oh shit. <laughs> All right, thank you. And, walk, and then they kick in those guys' door and he said they were just sitting on the couch. So they just... Him and his four friends just started beating the shit out of these four guys, just while they're in their living room. And then, uh, like, the guy with the cast was hitting them with the fucking cast. And then one of the guys pulled out a gun, so, like, so then my dad and his friends ran. Like, just ran, he said they ran right through the fucking screen door, which is funny. <laughs> 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 but, uh, while they were running out, one of my dad's friends was like, we're gonna burn your fucking house down, you asshole. And uh, the neighbors whose house they broke into called the fire department. <laughs> and my Uncle Joe got the call. <laughs> Frank, Uncle Frank got the call. Then, I'm running long, baby, fuck it. Um, a, couple, a couple years later, my dad is going to buy a six pack at a bar in Steelton, and he notices those four guys that they, the house they broke into are playing pool. And he was like, I, could, I remember seeing him through the fucking uh, the mirror behind the bar, and he was like, I noticed they noticed me. But he was using his brother Joe's fake ID. <laughs> and their brother Joe's like, he's the biggest, strongest, but he's the only nice one. <laughs> like he, he went to the Naval Academy for football. Like, he's a big guy, but he's, he's kind of a weird pussy. <laughs> he's into ancestry now. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a jacked monster, and uh, he was a sweet guy. So my dad... Gives the bartender his ID, gets the fuck out of there. Apparently those guys went up to the bartender and were like, who the fuck was that? And the bartender was like, that was Joe Gillis. He gave him my uncle's ID. So then a couple, couple weeks later, my dad's with his brother Joe. And his brother Joe's back from college and he's like, oh, I got a I notice from the post office. 
Hopefully it's my college yearbook. <laughs> so, so, I think it's the post office, it was a summons for breaking and entering and assault. <laughs> got charged for the assault. And then, you know, dropped because they were like, who the fuck's that? <laughs> anyway, that's it. You guys are great. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Six, one, Chris, two breakfast. See you guys. So now that we've seen that, we can tell that Shane Gillis even back in 2018, still had the same cadence he has today, still makes the same jokes. Honestly, he's just as funny as he ever was. There was nothing that told me that he was younger besides he looked a little bit younger. His jokes were the same. His comedy was the same. Just as funny as ever. Very, very, very impressive from Shane Gillis. So this next clip we're going to see is another one of the earliest pieces of Shane Gillis stand-up that we've seen. It's on Comedy Central. It's very clear that this is very early Shane Gillis. He got this chance from Comedy Central to do a little six-minute spot, and he did a pretty good job. Um, it wasn't as funny as his first clip, but let's take a look at it. Town, this was killing it. <laughs> People back home see me, they're like, what's your fucking secret? I'm like, oh, I'm just hanging out, man. It's <laughs> mostly hang out. And then, I don't know, I moved, uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then, uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> you, you pussies. Uh, no, but it was funny because like, that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to, then, to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke. And that was like, because if, like, if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. <laughs> you, you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest, all right? <laughs> like everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like I understand why white people like it. You know, like you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. It's not, I don't know if you know this, every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good, that's music, that's what I like. I get it, you can relate to it. I ride around, I listen to rap, that's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. It's like, oh, huh. I, I, like, I don't know if I beat it up. Like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never, I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. I've never knocked it out. Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with the pussy. Very technical. Very defensive. <laughs> That's all I listen to. I just ride around, listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like <laughs> That's it just Oh Jesus mister <laughs> Yeah Good So that's where I'm from And then I moved to the city And here let me lose you again real quick Uh it was right during the presidential election, and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said woke, and they were all like, they're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember how like confident you guys were <laughs> going into that last one? Huh? You remember that? A little borderline arrogant going into that. All right, don't let it cost you again. No, I relax, relax. I did not vote for him. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I, I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. His whole campaign was at me. I was watching TV, he was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? What the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. <laughs> I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. <laughs> and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. 
Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. I don't know. You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some advice. You just gotta be careful of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to, like, sex. When you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't translate. Like, this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. She's always going to want the dick. He's like, you're, you're worried about depth? Like, depth is a I didn't even know they had depth. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about, like, depth is an issue? He was like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. What are you talking about? I've never been, like, halfway in and been like, oh, oh. You gotta earn the rest of this. Dick. That's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about, like, the noises I'm making. Like, I just, I just sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. Just like, oh, oh. It's almost done. Depth. Or my face? You ever worry about your face when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't don't think about how dumb you look. You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome the whole just It's worse for me if I let it go. Like, if I just let my face go during sex. Like, I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just... The girl's down there, she's like, did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. So now that you've seen that, it's pretty good. It's not extremely funny, but, I mean, it's still Shane Gillis regardless, and we can all appreciate that. And now this last clip was from between 2020 and 2021. Whenever he did a very very impressive improv spot i've heard him talk about it on other podcasts before about how hard it was to do but honestly this is probably some of the funniest material that you've ever heard i cannot play all of it but i will link it down in the description stand up comedy that you've probably never seen before so just take a look i've come down with a severe case of melancholy don't do inside stuff but yes i've it's a funny way to say you're depressed I knew that was coming. Here's SNL right away? Yes. It's me. I was fired from SNL. Actually, not for the reason you heard. It's because I'm terrible at improv. And uh, this is, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Whatever. It was my guy, dude. You see him drop a couple LBs? Show back up. Everyone was like, oh. There's videos of him riding a horse, which is about as funny as it gets. I rode a scooter here, and I probably looked like a fat guy on a horse. There's something about when somebody's balance is that high off. It's <laughs> just way up there. Just... Yeah. I had no idea what this show was. Uh, what else? Italians? Italians are the last people we can be openly racist against. <laughs> And that's, that's going to stop. And somebody's going to... I was the last guy with Asians. It is undeniable. This is some of the funniest stand-up content that we've seen from Shane Gillis. His Netflix special was pretty good. His YouTube special was obviously the best. But from these clips that you've never seen before... Shane Gillis is clearly one of the greatest stand-up comics. You see videos from people's early days, and they're not that funny. I mean, you can tell that they're hungry, but they're not that funny. Shane Gillis has this not caring, always laughing attitude where he's always excited about what he's doing. And from clearly from these videos, it's very exciting to watch him. It's very cool to see his early stand-up clips and i hope that more resurface so that we can so that we can talk about him and see early shane gillis i mean he's impressive and always funny thank you for watching if you want more stand-up comedy content like this please like and please subscribe thanks guys
And now this last clip was from between 2020 and 2021, whenever he did a very, very impressive improv spot. Um, it was, I've heard him talk about it on other podcasts before about how hard it was to do, but honestly, this is probably some of the funniest material that you've ever heard. I cannot play all of it, but I will link it down in the description. This is probably the funniest piece of staying. This is probably the funniest piece of Shane Gillis earlier stand-up comedy that you've probably never seen before. So just take a look.